Me, 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 me. Uh, hello, 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 hello. You all right? Um, as you probably know, because you clicked on this video, today I'm going to be painting Magnum, Magnum PI, and uh, his friend Higgins. Um, <coughs> the mysterious Mr. Higgins. Was he actually Robin Masters? Hmm? I don't know. This is not going to be an accurate portrait of Magnum or Higgins. Uh, are they ever just going to be, I'm just going to be having some fun uh, drawing two characters from one of my favourite TV shows when I was a kid. And uh, if I had to list my favourite TV shows now of all time, I, Magnum might get on there. It was pretty damn good. Kind of quirky little program. A lot of the um, American cop shows and detective shows and things like that had a uh, good quirky characters. Night Stalker, Kolchak, <laughs> the quirkiest characters, one of the quirkiest of shows. <laughs> Truly brilliant show, Night Stalker. Although it did go off a bit towards the end of its run. Um, but yeah, great stuff. Who else was quirky? Fall Guy. Fall Guy was great, a bit quirky. People like a maverick, don't they? <coughs> Someone who's going to break the rules and do it whilst cracking some jokes and preferably being ruggedly handsome. <laughs> Cue Tom Selleck with his big tash. Was Tom a gay icon? He must have been. Must have been. It's great though. What a great show it was set in beautiful Hawaii. There was lots of stuff to look at in that show. Tom, Tom's tash, Tom's shirts. Shirts, as they say in Liverpool. Tom's car, a Ferrari. Then you had TC's helicopter. And you had Hawaii. Beautiful Hawaii. What a... <laughs> it's had everything going for it. Before you even <coughs> bothered putting a, a plot in or anything. Or, who, you know, who these people were. Who cared? Look at it. <laughs> now I'm working in a gouache here today. Uh, I foolishly decided to squeeze a load of gouache into this uh, container. And... Uh, Treat it like a watercolour palette. But the trouble is, as you might be able to hear, some bits of the gouache just dried and <laughs> like that. A little bit of dog poo. <laughs> so maybe I didn't put enough in there. But um, I'm going to work with it. I could get some more gouache out of my drawers and you know, squeeze it in, work with some fresh paint, but uh, I'm too lazy. I've started now. You don't want to see me rooting around in cupboards and stuff, do you? To get my other paints. So let's just do that. Do, 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 do. Why gouache? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I just decided that that's what I pick. So that's what I've picked. Gouache does have more pigment than um, watercolour paint, even though it basically is watercolour. It's what it is, it's just got extra pigment. One reason I'm doing gouache actually is because Tom's wearing really, really uh, wonderful Hawaiian shirts and uh, gouache is good for layering because it's um, quite opaque. So I can paint the whole shirt in this green colour that it is and then go over it, put the patterns in. This is Tom's hair, 
<laughs> I love doing hair like this. It's so funny. Just as much as possible, just one big sweep. It brings me great joy. And a little bit of black in there. Now I am going to work into that with some black. Got quite dark hair. Huh? There we go. Oh yes. And Higgins has got some dark bits. There and there. There we go. This is coming on very quickly, isn't it? It's just how I like my painting. I like them to be have some energy in them. I thought I'd paint Magnum after having painted TJ Hooker recently um, in a previous video. Uh, I watched an episode of Magnum, not Magnum, sorry, TJ Hooker last night and it was excellent. It had um, B movie legend Sam Haig in it uh, and lots of um, baddies with great faces. Another good thing about these cop shows, all the baddies, like from Casting Central, they're all they've all got great faces. They're all like, ah, oh, come on, Hooker, give me a break <laughs> when he's talking to his man on the streets. <laughs> it's the same with Magnum. All the baddies have got baddies faces. <laughs> <coughs> Magnum was interesting in that um, he had a voiceover. That was kind of a, one thing that stood out for Magnum. That's what made it different from a lot of the other shows. There we go. This is another thing I like doing. When I'm drawing the next drawing or painting the next colour, leaving the little white outline. Um, that just happened one day when I was doing backgrounds, which um, I started putting on last. And then rather than trying to get that background right up to the character, I thought I'll just leave the white space. Otherwise, I'm going to be going over the main subject of the painting. So uh, it's become my thing over time. I'm doing the whole background here. Look at that orange. That's nice. You may notice, I don't know if you can tell, I'm working with a natural light today, not got my studio lights on. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be better. I noticed sometimes some of our vid video, some of my videos, put my teeth back in, the um, white page can be a little bit blown out. So I thought I'd try and work with natural light. And the only trouble is obviously, I'm going to be filming at night time, can't do that, so I may have to get some of those fancy studio lights like all the YouTubers have. I mean, eventually I end up doing a video on my gear, won't I, like they all do. <sighs> How we film our videos. How do I film my videos? I sit on a chair and I get some paper and start drawing and waffling on for 20 minutes, don't I? There we go, coming on. 
can switch hands. I like this orange. Straight from the tube. It's not um a mix or anything. All of these colours are straight from the tube. It's fun to mix your own, but um when they're so good, who needs to? Right. Okay. That's all the big stuff done. Let's get the faces done. <laughs> this is where it could all go. I should do gotta do Magnum's Tash, haven't I? Uh do I still use my flat brush for that? Yeah, come on. Okay, there's an E in the size, basically that. <laughs> oh, Higgins has got a tash as well, hasn't he? Two tashes in Magnum. Higgins tash. Not as little as it looks, actually. People think, oh, a little pencil tash. Quite a full tash. It's just quite narrow and very smart. Very groomed. There we go. Magnum's tash is a little bit bushy. Higgins tash is groomed. The, I mean, <laughs> put your own faces on that. It's almost done, isn't it? <laughs> Remember the Magnum thing tune? Oh yes. The music, always great in these shows, always great. Uh, this feels like a Mike Post theme tune to me. Uh, I could be wrong, he was one of the, the, the big hitters in the Cup Show theme tunes. But what was great in all of these shows is um, the music that carried on throughout the, um, the show. It was all like orchestrated, all made for the show, full bands, great musicians, and it was a whole industry in music for TV. And sadly, that has gone. I, I'm not being here an old man complaining things were better back in the day because music was better back in the day for TV shows. I'm convinced of it. Absolutely convinced. It just was. You had loads of musicians in employment, paid gigs, turn up, read the dots. And the music was so much, it seemed much more thoughtful as well. You know, you had the themes reflected in the incidental music. You often had a little sad theme. You know, the, the, the minor key variation on your theme tune. And you don't get that anymore. And I, I'm sad. I'm sad about that. I feel that television's lacking in that. And it's like no one seems to be paying attention to the music. But also, I think part of it is that because television has changed and that this sort of show you don't get anymore. You don't get that light-hearted, comfortable... American Cup Show. I don't know why. There were some things that kind of helped destroy it. I think um, 
I think maybe Hill Street Blues was the start of that. Hill Street Blues was brilliant and it was a cop show, but it wasn't a comfortable, cosy cop show. And, you know, it was quite dark. There were hints of soap opera to it as well. You had characters had recurring troubles throughout the the programme, the seasons, and you you came to know characters, family and things like that. And they got put through the ringer a lot more in something like Hill Street Blues, and that, that fed on to other programmes that started uh, aping it. Um, I'm just less keen on that. I want my, like, 49 minutes of nonsense, bit of action, some jokes, car chase. Where do you get car chases on TV cop shows anymore? So you see with this gouache, I'm able to go straight on. Really good for little um, adding details. I may get carried away in this actually. Um, I've got plenty of time if you have. Right, Magnum, the man. You can barely see Magnum's mouth. I think I'll do that in the black. I'll go over that. Oh yeah, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> that nose. <laughs> That's funny. Magnum's got blue eyes. So I'll have them in a minute. Huge eyebrows. Bushy hair, bushy tash, bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Thanks, bushy chest. I'm not going any further than that. <laughs> This is funness. <laughs> dimples, huge dimples. <laughs> Has that dried yet? Quiet, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's funny already, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Need to give him a hairy chest, don't I? And then we're going to do that. I'm going to involve a dry brush, dry ish. I'll do that and then there we go 
<laughs> That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> right, blue eyes. I've not quite got the shade I want. I need to be mixing a red turquoise colour with a more pronounced blue. That'll do. Doesn't have to be spot on. There we go. Blue eyes. Magnum's got blue eyes. Da -ba -ba -ba. Do, 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 do. That a thing, he thing. I'm gonna call paint his lips in. I mean that's not the not the best, is it, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's give um Higgins some detailing. On this, marvelous shirt. It's safari suit, isn't it? That he always wore, <laughs> always. <laughs> One thing that tied all these the characters in Bagnum together, <coughs> Higgins, TC, uh, Rick, and Magnum was, uh, of course, their experiences in Vietnam. They were all vets. Uh, that was often mentioned in the show. There were often like flashbacks and stuff as well. Certainly in the first first episode. As flashbacks to explain, you know, the background. Who is this man, Magnum? And of course, Air Team, also Magnum uh, Vietnam vets. So it was still very much in the 80s. Uh, Vietnam was playing into the American culture. Um, but it only ended, what, was it 75, I think? Um, so it was still very recent. You know, 1980, it had only been on for five years. It's, that's huge, really, isn't it? Uh, but you didn't get a similar thing over here uh, with like something like the Falklands. I think because it, the Falklands War for, for Britain uh, was over much more quickly. Right. My white paint is looking like that. <laughs> you see, I've got bits all over now. <laughs> That's all right. But uh, fear not. It's also dirty, this white paint. It's got a lot of uh, blue in it. But it doesn't matter. So I'm going to be painting lots of flowers on this. Don't need to lose that way. Right, it's just all marking my page. Oh my god. So flowers, right, you don't have to do anything fancy, do you? So let's just do that. What are they? I don't know what flowers they are. I'm just like, oh well, lotus blossoms. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Just random shapes, isn't it, really?
Isn't that right? Something there. Okay. Need to let that dry a bit because I'm going to be going over it. Uh, but there is a bit I can do. I'm going to be going over the white flowers with some uh, really bright, almost fluorescent pink. But meanwhile, these flowers seem to have lots of orangey, frondy things. I don't know what they are. Maybe that's what they're called? Bi biologists? Is that right? No. Whoever deals with uh, flowers as scientists, maybe they um, call them frondy things as well. The herbiculturalists. Do let me know. Someone who studies flowers, what are they called? And just plants generally. Well, that looks nice. Not dried yet, though. I'm a bit impatient. No. Well, I'll leave it. Some of those areas are dried, some of those flowers. So this is where I put this crazy colouring. It's kind of fuchsia, but turned up to the max. Like all the saturation is just uh, raised. There we go. Kind of nice, just roughly doing little dot in there. That one's very wet, that working on there. That's all right. <laughs> Was that done? <laughs> I'm looking at it and wondering what else I would be doing with that. Magnum's tash needs to be darker, doesn't it? Oh yes, it's better. Uh, I think he needs pupils in his eye. There we go. And the tiny pinprinks. Is he on drugs? It's better. And. Some pens on this brush. There we go. Um, I think that's done. Magno and Higgins. I know I've got to go off and read an email. I've been invited to um, submit some of my artworks for a big exhibition in London, which is very exciting. Uh, I need to read it further and find what's whether I'm guaranteed entry or whether they're still going to be sifting through it. But I've gone through the first stage, which was getting them to say, yes, we want to look at your artwork. So um, I'm going to go and do that. Brilliant. You need to go watch Magnum and draw Magnum, draw Higgins, draw TC and draw Rick, and then draw the car and the helicopter. Fantastic. I will see you next time. See ya.